Fortnite has been one of the most popular video games of all time ever since its release back in 2017. And since then, countless action figure brands have been trying to get their product out on shelves. And since then, it has jumped from license to license. That was until about late 2021 when Hasbro picked up the license for Fortnite figures. Now, I've never been a huge fan of picking up the Fortnite figures, but I'm a big fan of the game Fortnite as well as Hasbro. I'm a mainly a Black Series collector, so when I saw a few figures here on clearance, I decided to pick them up. Ollie's has been getting a bunch of Fortnite figures for relatively cheap, around five to six bucks a figure. And so I saw them in store and I could not pass up on the deal. I figured, what's the worst that can happen? Worst case scenario, it's just a waste of a $6 figure, but you know, I love the game and I figured I would give it a shot. And spoiler alert, they're actually really, really good figures. And so spoiler alert, I went out and I bought some more because they've been really cheap on clearance, about five to six bucks a figure and then 12 bucks to 10 bucks or some of those bigger packs. So I saw all of these on clearance and I had to pick them up. There's about six figures here and it came out to a total of about 40 bucks, which is a great price for figures nowadays. So really, really excited about these. Let's go ahead and start cracking them open. So let's go ahead and start with the Funk Ops. This one, six bucks from Ollie's. I could not pass it up. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open. These things are the hardest thing to open. Am I doing this wrong? Oh. Okay, well, I guess you can open it from the side. I wish I would have known that before. Anyway, cutting this guy out of his plastic prison here. I believe that should be it. There we go, we got him out. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking figure, I gotta say. Let's grab his accessories here. Has the disco ball pickaxe, pretty dang cool looking. And then in this one, we do have the beat box. I'm guessing this is his back bling, even though I don't think this, I don't think this is his actual back bling. And then my personal favorite, we have a boogie bomb too. That's super cool. But I mean, yeah, pretty cool looking figure. And I got to say, it's one of my favorite skins in the game. It was the first one I ever bought out of the item shop. And uh, yeah, pretty cool to have a figure of him. So especially six bucks, hard to beat. Next up, we have the Link skin. This is one that I'm most excited for. Uh, we're gonna try the side door method this time and see if we actually are gonna be able to, I guess, we're, I guess we do have to cut the tape on the top first, but it should be pretty easy to open now, theoretically. And there we go. We also have to get her out of uh, the little plastic prison here. I believe that was all the, the pieces. Yeah, there we go. We got her out. And of course we have her accessories. This one is really cool. We have the P90. One of the best guns in the game. Uh, uh, Funk Ops didn't come with a gun. So quite interesting that Lynx did, but we also have her pickaxe as well. And then we also have this thing here, which again, I'm guessing is her back bling. Don't really care about that. I mean, yeah, that is super cool and Definitely a well-built figure. That's the one thing I like about this compared to some of the other brands. So other brands just weren't great. Whereas in this is like a really, really good quality figure. And that's one reason why I really like Hasbro. So yeah, nice to have this one in the collection. Okay, now let's go to one of these uh, bigger sets. This one is one of the, the, the deluxe sets. And it was actually only 10 bucks at Walmart, which is pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and crack this one open. I A bunch of stuff just fell out. But here we have a few different accessory things. As well as the skin himself. And then whatever this thing is. Starting off with the actual skin himself. Oh, this guy is actually really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. He does have this, I guess, is one of the accessories, which I believe go to this thing here. Uh, 
I'm not quite sure what this thing is supposed to be. I don't know if it's like a weapon rack or like a fence or something, but it's pretty cool looking and it's world building, so not too upset about it. We do have this, which is his uh, sword and his spear. Pretty cool looking. Also this, which is a little like chain and ball ball and chain and then his backpack here which actually does look really cool so let's go ahead and pop that backpack on and then it looks like last up is this which is his alternate head which i think is definitely the better looking head here and another one of the little ball and chains i mean yeah look at that that is super super cool looking and then his little sword even has a place to go right there, which I think is pretty dang cool. Next up, we have another one of the single ones. This is Metal Mouth. This is probably one of the coolest looking ones that I got. Another $6 one from Ollie's. He also does come with that super, super cool uh, sniper. The, um, the heavy sniper, I guess is what it's called, but super cool one there. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this guy open. Then a bunch of accessories come flying out. But uh, here we do have the Metal Mouth skin, so let's pop all of these little things open. And of course we do have the accessories here. First up with his pickaxes. These are pretty cool looking pickaxes, I'm not going to lie. And then we do have the weapons here. First up is the backpack, pretty cool looking backpack too. And we do have the heavy sniper, which I'm loving this. This is awesome. Now I will say this is kind of cool. He comes with a little pistol on his uh, belt here and they don't even show it on the box as one of the accessories, but he does have the pistol right here. That is pretty cool. And it's a nice accessory to, to include. And there he is holding the sniper, that is awesome looking really really like this skin it's uh, nice and intimidating and overall it's just a cool looking skin so definitely more uh more like tactical than some of the the skins like the funk ops or this uh the night one here but uh yeah i actually like this one a lot so really really glad i picked this one up now before we do get into the two pack we also picked up one of these little uh like vending machine uh or i guess arcade machines um 199 for this thing it looks like it comes with a few accessories and if not it's just an arcade machine which is pretty cool so uh, we're gonna get this guy opened up to um not quite sure how it opens it's probably open it from the bottom here but pretty heavy which it's uh, nice and you got tomato head there on the machine but yeah like, this thing is just cool on its own. I don't even need the the, we the weapons or the accessories. It's just cool as an arcade machine. Anyway, I believe you pop this thing open here. And inside we do have the accessories. You have the OG pump looking awesome. as well as a, uh, I guess a harpoon gun and a grenade. Pretty cool accessories. And uh, overall, I really just bought it for the arcade machine, but cool accessories too. And then last up for the Fortnite ones we picked up today, we do have this two pack. These are two skins that I don't care too much about. Let's get them out of the way. Uh, but they're two astronauts, which I think is pretty cool. Nice accessories, good weapons. So why not go ahead and pick it up again? 12 bucks, it's hard to beat. So yeah, let's crack this thing open. I do wish they would go back and do some more of the iconic uh, like actual OG skins from chapter one. I'll definitely pick a lot of those ones up, but other than that, like, I don't know how many I actually plan on picking up from the Fortnite line. We'll see though, but I'm pleasantly surprised. These are some pretty nice figures. And, uh, yeah, so we do have a ton of accessories in here, which I'm loving. And then the two figures, which we can go ahead and clip out. So yeah, we do have the first one out here, and I gotta say, right off the bat, not a big fan. They didn't give her the double-jointed elbows like all the other figures, 
Single jointed elbows, not a big fan of that. The uh, dude astronaut does have the double jointed elbows though, so interesting choice on their part. But yeah, I'm liking both of these skins a lot. They both look pretty dang good. Anyway, looking at accessories. Combat SMG and the Golden Scar. Great, great weapons. That's one of the, the main reasons to pick the set up is just for the weapons alone. In this one, it looks like we have a few different things. Are these the helmets maybe for the space people? Yeah, those are cool looking helmets. And then we got one of the backlings, which is the little moon. I like that one. In here, it looks like we have some pickaxes. I like these pickaxes, cool pickaxes. And then in this one, it looks like we have the other back bling, another moon looking thing, as well as this pickaxe, which I really like this pickaxe. This one is really, really nice. Here is the girl astronaut. She's looking really cool. I do like this one with the helmet on much, much better. And the scar back bling overall, really cool looking figure. Here's the dude looking great as well. Pretty happy with this two pack, 12 bucks, hard to beat. So overall, I really like the Fortnite line so far, especially from Hasbro. Is it something that I think everyone should collect? No, definitely not. It's for a very specific audience. Um, if you've played the games and you like the games, I think it's great for you. And that fits me perfectly. So I'll definitely pick up a few here and there. Is this a figure line that you should pick up every single figure from? Absolutely not. I think you should really only pick up uh, either like skins you think are cool or skins that you have like an attachment to kind of like the funk ops here i don't think it's the best figure in the line but i really really like the skin and it's one of my first i ever had in the game so i had to go and buy the figure but overall the fortnite victory royale series has something going for it it has really really good quality figures made by hasbro that have modern articulation which is i think really really important for figures nowadays and that's one reason why i really like hasbro's figures but it has great accessories almost every a uh, single figure in the line comes with a pickaxe as well as a gun. So really, really nice way to get accessories, which can be swapped among different characters, which I really like. The custom ability is endless. And then my favorite part about the line is it has a lot of great world building pieces. It has the really cool arcade machines here. It has uh, little like chests and crates like this ammo uh, weapon one right here looking super cool. It even has uh gliders and sharks and dinosaurs there's like tons of different like animals and and uh other things I, there's even vehicles i believe there's cars and boats in the line too which is kind of weird to think about but uh this line has a lot going for it and so if this is something you've slept on i say go maybe pick one up and try it out because I, I really enjoyed it and uh, it's definitely a figure line i might start collecting here in the future anyway that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed the like button and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one